Hey folks, Jake Williams from Scythe here today to talk to you about another Scythe Bytes. In an earlier Scythe Bytes, we talked about software supply chain security, and we noted um, that uh, NSA had released a very comprehensive document um, discussing software supply chain security. Now, this matters to me for a lot of reasons. One, I'm a software supply chain geek when it comes down to it, or security geek around that. Um, I think the whole idea of um, you know, threat actors uh, targeting the software supply chain is just fascinating, uh, and I'm confident uh, there are other solar winds level events out there that we just don't yet know about, right? Um, so I do think this is very, very important. It is something that we've discussed before and something we'll continue to discuss. Secondarily, of course, at Scythe, right? And, and, and we produce software. So our supply chain matters a lot because if our customers can't trust us uh, and our software, uh, certainly, my goodness, as a security company, how how do you trust anybody else, right? Um, so. I wanted to talk quickly, though, about um, you know some notes here around how NSA believes you should evaluate a third-party component, particularly if you're getting it compiled, right? Um, and so there are a few things that they ask you to measure a trusted supplier by, because as you know, honestly, as I think we all know, um, it is extraordinarily time-consuming uh, to reverse engineer a compiled binary, and then of course, if you even had an SBOM in the first place, to go check that. Uh, you know, the results of what's included in the code versus the SBOM. There are some software composition analysis tools that can do some of this for you. They're very immature. Um, and, and ultimately, uh, you know, again, we're not necessarily getting uh, fully reliable results. So how do you how do you evaluate a third party supplier or someone that's trusted, right? Um, you know, obviously, you want to know something about their development practices. When I get a compiled DLL, for instance, right, that a library that I'm going to use um, in a project, I'm looking to see, was it compiled with exploit mitigations, right? Amazingly, it's 2022, and I'm still getting libraries from third parties that don't have compile time exploit mitigation set. This tells me, of course, something about their security overall, right? Um, so, of course, um, you know, the uh, <clears throat> hopefully we've had some third party test and we can attest, um, you know, basically that my third party can attest that they have had yet another third party, I guess it's a fourth party at that point, uh, conduct a, a security assessment of that uh, of that software. But another big one here is, you know, have they provided me an SBOM? Because if they haven't, all right, if I don't have an SBOM up front, I can look at this binary all day long, right? But but I'm only looking at it to determine what's in it now, not does that match what they claim is in the binary, right? Uh, I also am going to look at their history of addressing security vulnerabilities. NSA, of course, recommends this as well. Uh, do they have a history of responding timely in a very timely manner to these vulnerabilities? Um, and then, of course, um, you know, is there a way to report vulnerabilities? This is another big one, right? And I know a lot of folks were like, well, but that doesn't necessarily mean there are vulns today. If we step back for a minute and we assume that all software has some vulnerabilities, right? Then you would probably think, okay, right? Then some number of those vulnerabilities are known to someone. I can tell you that I have a history of reporting vulnerabilities. I also have a history of not continuing to report vulnerabilities when somebody makes it extraordinarily difficult, right? Particularly for, for low volume, uh, you know, software. Uh, and so, you know, again, I'm looking here at a third party as I'm trying to determine, are they a trusted supplier, right? Um, and of course, if you're looking for this actually in the document, most of these recommendations are in section 2.3.3. Um, but uh, if I'm looking for a trusted supplier, do they have a, an efficient way, an easy way to go report vulnerabilities? Because if they don't, you've got to assume there are some number of Jakes out there who, you know, basically said, okay, right, like you're not going to make it easy for me. You're going to fight me on reporting a vulnerability. There's not an easy way to get that into the process. Then whatever, not my circus, not my monkeys, right? Um, so again, these are some, uh, some metrics or heuristics that you can use uh, to help identify who is a trusted supplier, and for that matter, maybe who is a less trusted supplier. With that, folks, uh, thanks for joining me. Um, Jake Williams from Scythe Bites. Peace out.